Hello to YouTubers, Traws here, and I'm uh, playing some more Dwarf Fortress. Had a little issue recording uh, the end of the last episode, so I'm going to uh, kind of go over uh, anything that uh, was missed at the end of the video. It's only uh, about a few weeks of playtime, two weeks of playtime, in that uh, we made it to the beginning of summer. Um... So, uh, digging out of where I want to put my storage room and the trading post was completed, as well as digging out uh, the what will become a dining room. Um, let's use K here. I have four tables and four chairs, and if I use Q, you'll see the room. Uh, off of this one table, I created a uh, dining room and also set it to be a meeting hall. Um, that's because I also broke down the cart. You can see the remains of the cart, some uh, logs and such that were we had brought with us. Uh, because currently the wood stockpile is basically full. Um, something that I did that I didn't go over previously, um, which I'll do now, is oh, you can see uh, we had started harvesting some uh, plump helmets. As I set up some uh, activity zones, and you can set up activity zones with I. Um, you, you know, here's one right here, uh, but you create them, you know, very similar to you create designations. Uh, but designations um, basically specify a job to do, where activity zones say that things can be done here but don't actually create a job. For example, uh, this activity zone over here uh, was set up as a pen slash pasture. So um, if I get... Well, I'm not sure where they are, but we have... Um, should have two horses. And let's see if I hit. Hmm. Maybe under the units list. Here we go. Stray horse. And uh, from here I can say C to zoom to creature. Ah. The animals actually like to stay in the meeting room if they're. Uh, but if you do have larger animals like cattle or yak or ox, they need some place to graze and that's what this pen slash pasture is. Um, down by the river, I set up an activity zone uh, for fishing and it's also a water source. So um, basically dwarves will prefer alcohol if at all possible. Um, but when they are sick, or if you actually happen to run out of alcohol, they'll need water. And basically, um, having this activity zone here, they'll prefer to take water from here instead of, um, for example, the little ponds that are here. These little ponds will run out of water. They don't get resupplied unless it rains. So if you have all your dwarves start taking water out of them, they'll quickly empty. So by setting the activity zone uh, on the river, they'll prefer to take water from the river there. Um, one of the other activity zones you can set up uh, is a meeting area, which I overlaid on the uh, dining hall. Not sure if that's really necessary, but I don't want to take any chances. Um, some other good activity zones, uh, if you do have sand or clay, um, which I don't think I do on this map, um, actually let me hit K here, and cobalite, claystone is not clay, um, Clay 
stone. Look like different colors to me, but I guess not. Um, maybe if I come up here, I know this northeast. Yeah. Going the wrong way. It's supposed to be like a marsh. So maybe there's. Stone pebbles. Um, what is this red? Clay loam. That is interesting. Swarm of flies. Yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things you can uh, note. Let me just um, just for a test here. Oh, so somewhere here there is. See, I selected the bottom right corner. I'm now about to select the top left corner and it's showing me if I do select this I can set this area as a garbage dump and all 344 spots will be used as a garbage dump. You do kind of want a garbage dump that lets you select items and uh, just say dump this and they'll be placed in the area you specify. Uh, really you want to make a garbage dump that's only one square big uh, because those items become forbidden and if you need to find them and unforbid them to use them later it's much easier if there's a only one title tile that all the items are placed on instead of in this case 344 that you have to look through uh, but saying I can also make this a pen or pasture I can make this a pit slash pond and there'll be six pit squares uh, not really sure well you can dig out a little pit and have your animals placed in it so that they don't go running all around and it uh, in older versions it used to definitely help uh, because all their pathfinding uh, took up processing and uh, so it could slow the game down if you had a lot of animals so if you put them in a pit they would have much smaller area they could cover so their pathfinding would be greatly reduced I'm not sure if that's an issue anymore um, I could also make this area a hospital or animal training area, uh, but it looks like I can make this a clay source. Um, so I'm going to click here and now I will see, say C, that it is a clay source and I won't be using this for anything else. Um, but that does imply that at least six of these tiles um, I wonder if this clay loam can be used for clay. It used to not be the case, but uh, perhaps that changed. Anyhow, so if I get into pot making, um, my dwarfs will come over here to get the clay they need. Um, So basically, yeah, that's activity zones. Uh, those are all the ones I set up. Um, in case we didn't fully get it, the kitchen area I set up. I have a kitchen workstation, a still where they brew alcohol, a farmer's workshop where various plants are prepared. Uh, for example, there's the, the pigtail plants that can be turned into kind of a thread that you can then use for making clothes and stuff like that. Well, the, the preparation of turning it into thread is done in the farmer's workshop. Um, you can also milk creatures and make cheese and stuff at the farmer's workshop. 
I have a butcher shop set up over here uh, where if you butcher an animal this is where it is done. Um, I also have a fishery set up but I don't think any of my dwarfs have the fishing skill right now. I don't want to set any to have the fishing skill because uh, fishing is time consuming and can be a little dangerous. But what I will do is I'll pick um, he's not currently doing something at the moment. Um, so you can say fish cleaning. He won't actually fish, but he'll, you know, scale it and gut it. And that skill is enough to be one who will be selected to set up a fishery. Since basically that's where you work. Um, so where do we go from here? We have the beginnings of food. This will let us survive. We have this little farm here. You can see there's already four mushrooms ready to pick. Um, I don't think we have seeds for any of the other plants though. But that should be enough to keep our current seven dwarfs through the winter. The problem is I don't think we'll have seven dwarfs by winter time. I think we'll have more by then because usually some will come with or after the caravan. Um, we need a trade depot set up and a storage room set up next to it. Um, I did set up two traps as well. Um, let's see. These are stone fall traps. I used the mechanisms that I built in a mechanist shop. Mechanist shop. Um, I built a few bins uh, for storing items. We have some crafts being made. Uh, but basically, the next thing I want, before fall, I want to have a storage room set up and a trade depot set up. Um, so let's get working on that. I'm going to set up a build a trade depot right now. Um, I believe it's shift D for depot. Trade depot is a 5x5 five five building and as such being such a large size, you need an architect to work on it. Um, it also needs at least a three wide entrance for the carts and traders to get down there. So I'm going to build it here. I'm going to build it out of granite because granite is a nice sturdy material. You actually need three pieces instead of just one. Um, while I have it paused, I'm going to designate that the slopes around my entrance are removed. Uh, so I hit D for designate, and I believe it is uh, remove. Why don't I see it? Remove upward stairs slash ramps Z. So I am going to kind of select this whole area, and basically that's a little bit of safety uh, if goblins or some other invaders are up here. I don't want them kind of just coming down these ramps and going in. Uh, I want them to have to approach from the opposite side. Uh, so if I get archers or something like that, they'll be able to pick them off without just being uh, kind of uh, jumped on from above. And I'm not sure if these slopes here will interfere with the carts getting in. I don't think they will, but I like to do this just to make sure. Um, the next thing I want to do is make make this room here uh, be stockpiles for materials. Um, so I'm just going to designate some areas. Uh, an animal stockpile, if you capture any animals alive or trade for them. Um, We'll go here in cages. I have food storage. I don't want to put furniture storage here because uh, furniture is mostly used inside the fortress. Uh, don't want corpses or refuse or stone or wood because I want the stone or wood further in. I don't really want gem. 
I'll put um, a row of bars or blocks. Uh, bars are like metal bars, uh, blocks. You can make wooden blocks, or actually even stone blocks, and make walls out of them. Um, it's basically just temporarily uh, uh, area storage. I'll probably make a bigger one further in my uh, fortress once I start really building. Um, I'll make one row for cloth items. If we trade for clothes, they'll get put there temporarily. Uh, one for leather items. Um, say one for ammo. Um, one for weapons. One for armor. And then the two remaining will be for finished goods, which is what I will be trading away. Um, all the crafts and stuff count as finished goods. And finally, I'll go into the manager screen. You can see I uh, apparently ordered up some uh, barrels, bins, and buckets. And I'm gonna order some doors. Oops, if I type it right. Um, say 10 rock doors, because never have enough doors. And you know what? I'll need some more mechanisms for traps. And 10, should, 10 of those should be good as well for now. Um, yeah, so that's everything for the moment. I'll probably let the game run for a bit and see how we are progressing. So it looks like some of the wood was brought in. We've got... Oh, and we got the... Uh, Ramps being removed. Looks like we've run out of uh, plump helmet seeds, but that's fine. We have 41. Now, uh, that's something I don't know if was on the previous video, but uh, I went to the bookkeeper and adjusted his settings and brought his precision up one level. It took a little work at his desk, but we now know how many plants and seeds and what we else we have. Alright, so it looks like the administrator has... Well, he examined it for a second there. Is he bringing these stones in? He's clearing the area. I I know at least one of the uh, dwarfs has architecture. Um, if you notice the one manager or the one dwarf that is manager brought out this little purple thing. These are rodent or pest remains. Little purple. Looks like we got uh, the trade depot all built now. Um, it should tell me what the training axe was put on the weapon pile. And some dwarfs are sleeping now. Something that's new since the last time I played. I 
make wheelbarrows. I'm gonna order three of them. Uh, I think they help the dwarfs move around large objects. See, uh, we got uh, two of the dwarfs planting, two of them moving items around the constructed building. What is he? Oh, he's the guy I gave the fishing skills to. The fish cleaning skills. So the fishery is now built. And the expedition leader has no job right at the moment. Yeah, but the uh, top right corner you can see idlers, and that's how many dwarfs don't have a job to do at the moment. And yeah, mostly the game after the initial setup rush is uh, just figuring out what to do next, assigning jobs, and then waiting for them to get done, or figuring out why they aren't getting done and and correcting the problem. Yeah, so if you run out of uh, rocks, you're not going to get any rock crafts made. It's like uh, the barrels were made that I ordered to the manager screen. Uh, we still do have plenty of wood, and I believe there's still wood on the surface that was chopped, yeah. Idle dwarves will, uh, should move them to the stockpile as space becomes available. I see some bins are being placed in the storage room. Another Masterpieces are really, really nice because they can trade for five or more times the value of a, a base item. Yeah, he's constructing wood bins and as they're being finished, they're being placed in the stockpiles because uh, more items can be stored in a bin on a single spot than just the single spot alone. A single spot alone can only hold one item, but it can hold a bin, and the bin it's then can hold, uh, well, more than one item depending on the... I'm not sure if it's uh, a number of items or maybe a weight of the items. That's the limit, but there's some sort of uh, maximum carrying capacity of a bin, but it's you know much more than a spot without a bin. Alright, we got the mechanisms completed, so let's uh, let's install a few traps. Um, build capital T. Um, I'm gonna put in a row of stonefall traps. And, um, you know, two rows of cage traps. But that's going to need cages. And it's easiest to make wooden cages, assuming you have the wood. While I'm here, I'm gonna have some tables and thrones built, 
and those will go in the dining hall slash meeting hall. Yeah, we're we're out of seeds. Speaking of out of seeds, let's um I mentioned in the previous video that there was two different um there's different types of plants, ones that grew indoor and ones that grew outdoor. So let's build an outdoor farm plot because it seems our indoor one we're out of seeds for. So that should be P. Needs. Oh uh, yeah, when you're on rock, um, those that's claystone. You can't. Hmm. So. Uh, can I not put a plot here? See how that works out. You used to be able to build farm plots on any grassy, but the message seemed to imply. Yeah. Well, it just says waiting for construction, so. That just seemed to imply that I need to put water on the ground first to get mud. What is. Yeah, he can't load. Looks like we have one of the cage traps built, but there's no cages to load in it. Yeah, so traps are color-coded. Looks like green is cage traps, white is stone fall. Uh, I think it's either yellow or red are uh, weapon traps. Yeah, so he, he builds the uh, trap and, and then he would want to load it. But uh, currently don't have any... Why is the word worker not doing anything? Maybe he was eating or something like that? So we have 10 buildings built. One thing I did not check, uh, although it shouldn't be a problem, but I built this trade depot and you need to make sure that traders can get to it. And where I'm situated, that shouldn't be a problem at all. There's no trees because trees will block the path. Uh, but there's a way to make sure. Um, you see down at the bottom there's a uh, capital D for depot access that's indicating the shift D. Oh, and that says inaccessible depot. Why is that inaccessible? Is it the traps? Because that would kind of suck. So I thought the they could ride over or under the traps. Can remove them. No, I can't do it. Yeah, just to see these full announcements, I'm pressing A. Um, 
remove the unbuilt. And see if when those get built. It won't work. Yes, everyone's trying to load. There is a migrant. You there, stop that singing. Yes, we know there are migrants. <laughs> so, we have more more dwarfs already. They always come in at the edge of a uh, of the map. So, looks like they're kind of bottom center. Um of not an ideal location because I kind of want to grab hold of them and see what their skills are. Alright, so I'm pausing it there. Hitting V. So we have a surgeon, which um, is actually nice if I want to set up a hospital, which is one of the things I want to do eventually. I'm just turning on all his um, healthcare related skills, even though he may not really be that skilled in them. He's the most skilled medical dwarf I have. Um, this guy is a weaver. And a furnace operator. So, I'll leave him for now. Is that it? Just two? That's interesting, because usually I would think you get more than that. It does say population nine. So, unless... Looks like that's how we're getting... beds. Might as well ask for 10 now. So, uh, we got some doors being constructed. The wheelbarrow should be next. In the uh, carpentry shop, where the doors are being done in the mason's shop. Cages being built, yeah. Oh, we have the doors. Let's put a um door there, and we'll put doors on the kitchen. I'm not really sure how much this is needed, but if it helps uh, keep critters out of the food, you know, we want to do that. Looks like we got our last trap. And it does look like it's preventing depot access. So, I know he just did all this work. But I have to tell him to remove all of those traps. I 
kind of, you can see they're pushing little wheel carts around now that I have a few wheel bottles built. Traps. I'll move them back here. Uh, you can look at the quality of the mechanisms, um, but as far as I know, they really only affect weapon traps. Uh, weapon traps reset automatically, basically like a sword or something that sticks out of the floor, or ceiling, or wall, or something. So better quality mechanisms will reset faster. Um, usually though, if there's a group of enemies, the first one will get hit, but maybe, um, it, you know, maybe the last one will get hit if there's five or six of them. They, they don't, it's not instant reset. So, see all these things being completed, but our uh, stockpile for furniture is pretty small and pretty full. So what actually happens is, um, is it T? Yeah, in the workshop itself, he's working with some claystone, but it has, there's two doors in the workshop. Eventually, if too much stuff builds up, the workshop will become cluttered and work in the workshop will slow down because of that. So I should start using these doors soon. And everything else that I have down there. See all the cages are being put in the animal uh, stockpile. Once the uh, cage traps are rebuilt, hopefully the depot will have access. And uh, the six of the cages will be used uh, to load them. Oh, it looks like this farm plot was made, but it says no seeds available for this location. Um, so what that tells me is I didn't gather enough plants. It's only a random chance of actually... Uh, getting seeds when you gather plants, so I'm going to designate to gather plants again, and I'm going to say cover a nice big area. So hopefully that will get us some seeds that we can plant. It's a rat. Yep, and the cat killed it. The remains that are in this uh, refuse pile will eventually rot away. Although it'll probably take a season or two. I guess we brought granite with us. Yep. Alright, so we're, uh, rock tables have been cleared, so let's put some more tables in here, so I want an aisle, chair, table, table, chair, yeah, that's great, needs plenty of room. for now. I 
can see somebody's eating. That's something I probably should have done. Uh, this stockpile here is the stone stockpile, but I can tell you right now that's all iron ore magnetite um, that is filling it up and not the useful, at least there, we want you know normal rocks that are turned into crafts. Um, so I went into the settings screen here and I can turn off by putting nope I want to enable stone but I want to forbid that metallic ores and economic stone other stones uh, I want to I want to disallow clay as well I just want normal stones. The problem is they're not going to move those out of there. At least not at the moment. So it looks like we had a dwarf become a stone crafter. I believe he was um, well he was the bone crafter slash stone crafter. Um, what is the mechanist doing? No. Eh. Here on break. So, one of the things I do want to get to is starting to build bedrooms for these guys. Um, let's do something first. These are just hallways. That planned out and I'm hopefully going to use that to fix some of our rock problem. All right, the beds have all been completed. I don't think we've had quite an issue yet where Everybody's been sleeping at the same time, and two extra dwarfs doesn't make it likely that that will happen. Yeah, so as they eat those plump helmets, they do get more seeds to plant. And that is why every so often we'll get the saying that they can't. Bastard will take me alive. Ooh. So I was saying that is why we occasionally get the can't plant any more seeds, but then they're planting again. But we have a. Uh, thief. So, uh, if I hit K here, got a cobalt thief. Um, he's perfectly healthy. We have our surgeon here, and he's, he's hurt Ashley a little bit. Ooh. Looks like he was slashed in the and a whole bunch of other places. Um, let's hit R for reports. Ooh, something what happened. Well, see our surgeon ran one way and the thief ran another. Normally, thieves will try to sneak in and steal stuff. Uh, but once they are seen, which typically takes a dwarf getting within a tile or two of them, or a trained dog, 
or something like that, uh, then they'll run away. Uh, so that's basically our first encounter, and that will be occurring more and more. So, yeah, you can see our surgeon has started heading back. Um, you for units. And I can zoom in on him here. So I'm pause it. You can see he's running away. Quick run! Been detected. Uh, do we have another thief? Nope. Oh. You can see the red here. Um, if I hit K. Oh. Okay. Occasionally, uh, <laughs> not occasionally, but injured dwarfs will bleed and leave marks on the ground, but this happens to be just red colored dirt. Um. Dwarfs won't attack anything unless they are part of the military. You know, while we're here, might as well make another room for a hospital. Because, um,. Might be a good idea to have one now that we have a uh, surgeon. For shame, I am detected. Doth my dagger shine? Okay, what has happened? Okay, I want you. Another. Never seen three thieves in a row like this in my time playing. Usually it's a few months between them. But maybe these three were together in a group. Not sure if he stole something. Well, let's see if we can. He's got a dagger. A loin cloth and a tunic. So I would say he hasn't stolen anything. He was noticed before he had a chance to steal anything, but it's still uh, concerning. It's quite early to get thieves. See who is my uh are you my mechanist? No. Um You are and you're digging stuff out. If I can, the stone crafter guy was also a miner. But I'm wondering if he is still holding on to the mining pick, or if I can set the weaver to be a miner and see if he will pick up the pick and help dig. I'm a tight. How are you doing? We're 
we're actually almost through summer and uh, it's not good because the depot is still blocked these are all right so I want I want those gone now so this is our mechanic I'm going to turn off mining on him he should put down the pick which you can see is a little slash here and if I go he's decided to source something in a bin hopefully that's a mechanism he put his pick in a bin and is putting it back on the weapon pile very much like him to well apparently he's hungry or thirsty Got just a few more days left in the summer uh, oh yeah look the horse is hungry um yeah, hungry. You can tell the. Use the little cursor here. This is the horse right under the cursor. Or the remaining horse. The brown down arrow means he's hungry. And I did set up the uh, pasture outside um, under zones. Shift N, and will that assign the horse to the pasture? It's apparently, uh, yeah, we do have the one of the farmer dwarfs moving the horse. What is the capital H there? <laughs> does he have in his? Oh, he has the horse corpse. I wonder if that is... can be butchered. No. Ah! Uh, wrong keys. Cancel. B. Things should auto-butcher. I'm wondering if... Autumn has arrived, and the game is automatically saving as I have set it up to do. And uh, this is where I'll call this video. Really wanted to get a little more accomplished, especially making sure that the uh, depot had access from the outside. There's some saving. Um. Oh. Yes, so he is just about to clear the last Well We'll see that next time if that actually makes the depot accessible. It it definitely should. Carts can go up and down ramps. I think it was just the traps that I put in. It's okay, I'll put them on the other side. They'll still protect the interior of our fortress. And I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Uh, thanks for watching this. See you later.